patient is a known case of mucopolysaccharidosis okay this is a big point in the question the patient has inability to maintain proper oral hygiene due to mental retardation what are the pathognomic cells in the gingival biopsy of this disease okay so let's try to first recollect all the features of mucopolysaccharidosis which is also known as gargoylism so gargoyle is that statue which looks similar to this child in the image the condition mucopolysaccharidosis occurs as a chromosomal abnormality in chromosome number 4p16 3 and this has a variety of features okay this is also known as hurler syndrome now Features of Hurler syndrome, let's just run through the image one so that if we have similar questions on the image, on the, uh, on the clinical features, we can easily answer those as well. So this is something that appears in the first few years of life, nearly first to second year of life. Okay, and it is characterized by facial characteristics which are very typical like prominent forehead. Okay. Then there is a broad saddle nose. You can see that the nose is broad. Then there is wide nostrils as compared to normal. Thick lips, puffy lips. Then there is hypertelorism that is increased intercanthal distance. Large tongue, macroglossia and noisy breathing and nasal congestion. So because the facial features are not developed properly, there are orofacial and nasal problems. The patient will also have corneal clouding which is not seen over here because the eyes are covered okay so these are some very significant or very classic hallmark features of Hurler syndrome now the patient will also have mental retardation which is already mentioned in the image because of which the patient is going to have poor oral hygiene so there is poor oral hygiene there are other facial uh, problems when as far as the growth of maxilla and mandible are considered that we will not go in depth of. Uh, then there is destruction of alveolar bone, bone loss. Periodontal problems are common. This is because of the mucopolysaccharide which is highly deposited in the gums. So because of this there is gingival hyperplasia. This gingival hyperplasia biopsy will have some pathognomic cells. So they have asked us to identify what are these cells. Now looking at the options, Hurler cells, clear cells, gargoyle cells and all of the above. Now whenever this word all of the above is given, it is easier to answer because even if you know two points which are common, then you can say the third is automatically valid. So the word gargoyle cells and gargoyleism automatically goes together. If you know the other name Hurler syndrome, Hurler cells is clear, that leaves only clear cells. So if two options are correct, answer all of the above is correct. So let's take a look at these cells. The answer to this is all of the above. These are all synonyms of the same cells which are seen in Hurler's disease or Hurler syndrome. So Hurler syndrome is the most severe form of mucopolysaccharidosis type 1, which is a rare lysosomal storage disease characterized by skeletal abnormalities, cognitive development, heart disease, respiratory problem and liver and spleen problems characteristic faces and reduced life expectancy. So coming to the histologic fe uh, features, there is an excessive accumulation of intracellular mucopolysaccharide. The condition itself is mucopolysaccharidosis. Okay, so these are deposited in the tissues and organs, including liver, spleen, reticular endothelial system, nervous system, cartilage, bone and heart. Abnormal deposits are found in many other sites, which include fibroblasts that assume the appearance of clear or gargoyle cells. So two options. Clear cells, gargoyle cells, correct. Okay. Coming to Hurler cells. So the author Gardner has reported demonstration of these cells as Hurler cells or gargoyle cells in the gingival tissue of the affected patient, which is the question. So this is how the cells look. They are relatively large. Metachromatically staining cytoplasm, which is agranular. Can you see? This is agranular. There are no granules or finely granular. Often with a crescent-shaped nuclei. Look at this nuclei over here, okay? It's crescent shaped nuclei. And these cells are not identified with hematoxylin and eosin, but become evident with toluidine blue or alcyon blue or aldehyde function stain. So these stains also you should remember in case if there is any parallel question asked from this. 
So some difficulty may be encountered in differentiating these from mast cells. So they are similar to mast cells. So the pathognomic cells, hallmark cells in this condition, mucopolysaccharidosis, are Hurler, clear or garbled cells, all of which are the same cells. Okay. So the answer is all of the above.